Who lied? So far, zero drop frames, everything holding nice. Stream is officially up and running. Yo, Kang, what up? Black Acula, how's it going? Keith? How's it going? Alright, let me uh, go ahead and spread my links around real quick before we get started. Copy that, go to Twitter. Hashtag World of Warships Legends. 1v1 ranked tier 5. Copy. Tweet. And then four pages on Facebook. Beautiful. All right. Everybody's here already. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off? We had Keith. We had Black Acula. We had Battleship Kang. Uh, Brady. James. G-Man. Frank. Steak. Wicket. Project. Uh, Spark. Citadel City. Elite. Zach. How's it going? James. Danger. Enrico. Todd. Dead Culver. Ender, Donald, Gauzy in the game, or er, up in here. We got Moaning, how's it going? Noah, Christopher, Local Weirdo, how's it going? DJ in the house, Ultimate, Caden, Sorta, Strange, we got Jeevan, and Todd, Bob. Strained. How's it going, James, as well? Thank you guys all for dropping by the, the stream. Hopefully everybody's having a good time. Uh, we are going to be doing the Tier 5 1v1 rank today. As always, we're going to go straight through them. Uh, however long it takes to get done, we're going to take it. Um, now, there are three ships that I'm kind of going to focus on in this particular uh, fight. Um, now, obviously, I've already said the challenge for me in these 1v1s is to go through and do all of them um, as tier as the American battleships. Like, I could go to the grab the War Spider, the Queen Elizabeth, and go in with an overmatch and do really well. I already know that. I'm not going to. Uh, now, the challenge, American battleships, tier 5. Let's do this. Now, there's a couple ships that I want to kind of look at, and that is the Arizona, California, and the West Virginia. These are the three best American battleships at this tier. New Mexico is also very, very good, but the California and New Mexico are basically the same, except Cali's thicker. Uh, the big thing about Cali is it has very good armor. It's slow, which isn't that big a deal in a 1v1, but it also has very good torp protection. Uh, if you guys see the 40% torpedo damage reduction. Which may help in the event that we run into a, a destroyer match. Uh, but I honestly don't think... And it's got very good guns just like the New Mexico does. The New Mexico and the California both have 14-inch uh, uh, 50 caliber guns. But so does the Arizona. Um, and I think the Arizona is much more consistent. Uh, it doesn't quite have the torpedo reduction. It only has 37%. But it's, it's still almost as good as Cali. I feel like it's a better ship. It's a little bit more mobile. It's a little bit more maneuverable than the Cali. And I think the guns are just more consistent than the Cali. 
So I'm probably going to stick with Arizona for the most part, but if we run into a bunch of stuff that we're getting overmatched against, that's going to cause issues. So what it, what I'll do if we do start running into overmatch issues is I'm just going to pull out the West Virginia. West Virginia, while it isn't as tanky and doesn't have the torpedo damage reduction, like you can see, it's still 37%, so it's good enough. Uh, it's just same as Arizona, but it also has 16-inch guns. The reload's a little slower. The 180 degree time's not that bad, but these are a little bit more inconsistent, and you only get eight of them. So you got to keep that in mind. You get four quad turrets rather than four triple turrets. So your overall DPM is going to be a little less. Uh, plus, they're less in, less consistent. But you could, the biggest issue with this ship is that it just doesn't have the armor. Uh, you have to really angle well and hope that people are aiming for your waterline in order to get you know consistent bounces out of this thing. Uh, now, the challenge with the American battleships at this tier is we don't have icebreakers, okay? So, everybody that overmatches us, anyone with 15-inch guns and above, Queen Elizabeth, Byron, Warspite, uh, the, anybody dumb enough to bring a Mutsu in, uh, West Virginia's, uh, anything with 15-inch guns and above are going to go right through our bow, which means we have to do the Dreadnought Shuffle. We have to bait these guys into shooting the side plating. Uh, using that torpedo damage or that torpedo belt to our advantage so uh that's the goal that's the that's the idea let's get into it now i did forget the last time we were out here i forgot about changing up the build a little bit to make it a little better for the 1v1s okay so let's try to get that right out the gate so somebody mentioned when i switched off of uh this the last time you can see the special effect we all know is that it repairs um automatically uh, inside the the uh, the range of a, a friendly ship, uh, but it also, as a passive effect, increases the hit point regeneration when uh, repair party is active, meaning you end up with better uh, better heals essentially. So, is that better, or are we going to go with the fight fire with fire, which reduces fire damage to your ship, but also can uh, take in proc and knock out three fires i don't think we're going to run into too many fires so i think i am going to keep will to rebuild on uh we are still going to be running azure lane sharn horse and palo de revel our normal build uh we are still going to be running all of these uh we don't need the reaching out xxl uh so we'll probably go with emergency specialist here or we go with pr properly meticulous either of these is good but i think we're going to get more use out of the emergency specialist so that's what we're going to go with. Everything else is normal, so we're just going to leave it. So let's get right into our first battle. Hopefully everybody's ready. What up, Shina? How's it going? I apologize if I miss anybody. Uh, my kinda. Uh, GP, I see you. Jacob. Hopefully everybody's going to have a good time. Uh, we're under a bit of a... Uh, flood watch today because a cold front is stalling out over top of the area so that'll be fun uh first things first we're up against the cali okay so we're on even terms in terms of uh you know firepower and armor so neither of us can overmatch each other we both have really really big superstructures so it's going to come down to a maneuvering fight who is going to take the bigger hits when they are broadside now cali has that really really thick torpedo protection so rather than aiming waterline I'm probably going to aim high. Uh, I need to close the distance to really get the best out of him. And if I can get him to over angle, then we can citadel him through that bow side plating that we know and love. So uh, that's the that's the goal here. That's going to be our goal. Close the distance, get up close, make him make a mistake, and delete him for it. Uh, because at range, that, that torpedo protection of his is disgusting at getting rid of... Okay, he's got us spotted already, but it shouldn't matter because we're going to see each other any moment. Go ahead and put up our spotter plane. Get ready to fire the guns. It's interesting that he's not coming out from behind. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. I say we're not firing at waterline. First thing I do is fire at waterline. And you can see why. Like, that dude just gave it to us. We're going to go ahead and damage con that. Remember, we do have the faster damage cons. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You cannot, you cannot give those kinds of shots up to people. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything here. He doesn't overmatch. So we'll take that. Uh, 
We're gonna turn in. He's gonna get loaded again, but we're also gonna be able to get another shot. All right, let's go ahead and switch the guns to the other side. We are not gonna chase him around the island. Trying to avoid hitting this island. Okay, let's back up. I was hoping that we could turn around, but uh, he hasn't actually gotten into the base to contest yet, so we might actually... Oh, never mind. I lied. He contested. So he just got into the base. I was going to turn around and get the guns to the other side, but I think he's dumb enough to push around this island. And if he is, I'm going to make him pay for it. Oh, shit! That I wasn't expecting. He's going to blap the shit out of me. I hope that he doesn't kill me here. Hoot! Owie! Yeah, that was actually a really good play by him. All right, we're going for a superstructure hit here, just to make sure that we're still trading some hit points each. That was a good double back. I was not expecting him. I'd be, I'd be real honest. He caught me. Nice, nice play to the, the thick one over there. Now, the goal, obviously, is to get him... Ah, this fucking island! God, I hate this shit. Like, I'm trying to curve to the inside, but I keep getting hung up. He's not going to be able to do much there. I already know that. I think I'm going to hold. He didn't do much damage that time. We're still doing okay. See if this guy is going to... Uh... Yes, make the turn. Make the turn. Through the bow side plating? Oh, we didn't get the Citadel, though. We did blap him. Main turret critically damaged. All right, now that we fired first, we are going to push this advantage. He's not going to be able to angle against us effectively. And we should be able to kill this man. Go ahead and get the guns turned. He just destroyed one of our turrets. Doesn't matter. Beautiful. So, one fight in the books. Now, for those of you wondering why I'm not running a face cam right now, uh, I had to get these special glasses from the eye, eye specialist the other day, uh, or yesterday, and they trap the lights from my, my lights really, really bad because they get their prism glasses. That's what they do, right? So, they, they grab light. Uh, but anyway, so that's why I'm not running them. I, I, if I try to run my face cam, I have to have my lights on, and the lights just completely blind me while I'm wearing these things. Uh, so can't can't do the face cam until I'm done wearing these things, which will be April 6th at the earliest. So uh, solid first game right out the gate. Uh, this is a decent play by the Cali. He actually caught me off guard with that uh, doubling back on himself. I wasn't expecting it. So uh, GG to him. But uh, off to a good start. Let's move on to the new one. Um. I, I do apologize that I don't know your name, whoever you are in, in the Greek, but uh, hello. And I can't try the Byron because the whole goal here is to do uh, American battleships through the entire ranked seasons 1v1. I'm trying to prove to everybody that American battleships are fully capable of 1v1 brawls. Um, because I hear so many people talk trash about American battleships and brawling that uh, I just want to prove them wrong. I want to show that if a good player is in the freaking American battleship, it can brawl with anything. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Now, obviously, we're up against the second California. We know what we're up against. We know what we got to do. It's not something that's out of the realm of possibility. So, we just got to see if this guy's better than the last guy or if this guy's going to uh, kind of screw himself up, too. What up, Bismarck? How's it going? This guy looks like he's about to go full broadside here.
Okay, we get our shot away first, start turning back in. Aim too high. Dang it. He's firing HE. Now we're gonna go ahead and stop that horseshit. Don't be this guy if you're an American battleship. So like, there's no reason for you to be shooting HE at a bro. I mean, I can literally sit here broadside to this man at this point. There we go. Yeah, that's armor piercing, sunshine. You should try to use it. How do you like that? Hmm? I'll never understand why people... Like, I get it. We, we tried it in the first season, and we saw just how ineffective HE can be. Like, it's just not worth it. Go for that superstructure. Good salvo. He gets a fire. No big deal. The ship is on fire. We can go ahead and start healing some of that. Because as it ticks, we should be fine. And on our next salvo, he dies. This guy is definitely a gray guy, if I had to guess. So yeah, that was that was easy. Easy mode. Uh yeah, that was gray. You could definitely tell that guy had no idea what he was doing. So uh rip him. But on to the next one. We're on fire, guys. What up, hustle? Tiger in the chat as well. Tiger and I absolutely wrecked people last night. Had a good time last night. All right, well, we got big race. We are up against a war spite. Okay, so this is the first person that actually overmatches us. So we've got to take that into consideration. We got to try to bait him into using the freaking side, uh, the belt armor. So, like, if, if we can get him to shoot at the belt, we should be okay. We can't go bow into this guy because he can absolutely wreck us through the bow. So, we need him to shoot at our belt. See, that's the thing. You guys are saying that you feel bad for me when Tier 6 comes out because North Carolina or Colorado versus Sinop and them. I'm not that worried. Like, they all have the same weaknesses, and they all overmatch one another. So I'm not that worried about it. I'm really not. The amount of times that I've citadeled Sinops through the bow is, like, pretty hilarious. Yeah, we both kind of screwed the pooch on that one. I think he got the better end of it. He got us for about 10k. He does have the speed advantage here. And he does overmatch. But again, we're going to be angled. We're going to be trying to get him to shoot. And he does have the reload advantage too. So he's got all the advantages. But, War Spike not known for being tanky. Well, in real, in real life it is. He's definitely winning the fight. And this is what I was worried about, was going up against these guys that overmatch us, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. If they stay bow in, they can do more damage with their front guns than we can do to them. And if we overangle, then we're in trouble.
Obviously, the goal here is to get him to come around the island. He's on the back side of the island. Yeah, no, that's not working. This guy's actually playing this really well. He's actually playing this really well in terms of uh, keeping himself angled enough that I can't really get through that bow side plating effectively. Come on. There we go. Need a couple more salvos like that. There he goes right through our backside. The ship is on fire. He's opening himself up. Slapped him again. Problem solved, sir. I had to guess. I'd say this guy built for secondaries on this thing. I've never seen a worse fight secondaries be this effective. All right, he's got me double fired. Oof. And he breaks a turret again. This man is breaking my turrets like nobody's business. Alright, well, I'm gonna go for the superstructure, I guess, because he's staying kind of bow into us. We break one of his guns. Ah, uh, putting out that single fire, yeah, that's our first loss. And that's what I was worried about. I mean, that's, that's what I was worried about. So maybe we, we jump in the West Virginia and see how the West Virginia does. We need the ability to overmatch. Like we, we, can't, we can't get into those fights where people stay bow in and not have the ability to overmatch them. So that's the only downside with the Arizona. Uh, those 14-inch guns, we don't overmatch, and they can sit there and bow, bow tank bully us. Uh, when he overangles, we blap him, but in, in, unless he overangles, we're completely helpless. So we'll try the West Virginia out and see what we can do here. Speaking of West Virginia. <laughs> we had two salvos in that last fight that uh, we did basically no damage to the man. And he took like 10k off of us. China coming in with the five pound dono. Thank you. Appreciate it. If the street or er, appreciate the stream. Uh, your gold-hearted legend. Hope you feel better soon. Well, I appreciate it, Shida. I feel fine. It's just that uh, i got to get my eye fixed. My right eye, I don't know if you guys notice it during the live streams, but my right eye tends to wander. I've got good vision. My my eyesight is 2040, so it's not like I have bad vision. It's just that I have my right eye tends to wander, and uh, because of that, I'm trying to get that fixed. Because otherwise, if I don't get it fixed, I will eventually go blind in that eye. Because my brain will just stop using it. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Damn it. Dude, why is it every time somebody shoots me, they break a turret? And every time I shoot somebody else, I don't get crap. Like, come on. Problem solved, sir. Every time they shoot me, they break a turret. Oh, this man wants to duel. Look at it. He's slowing down to get this freaking shot here. That's a bad idea, buddy. I'm going to show you why. I don't know how I'm still detected, to be honest.
Oh, now he's got a plane up. Okay, we're gonna go hard right here and see if we can go between these islands. This could end badly for me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make that turn, so let's just turn back in. I think he'll come around the corner. Hold the shot. We fired first, so we should get to fire again. What up, Sam I L? Appreciate you dropping in. All right, so first battle in the uh, West Virginia went pretty well. Again, it's I think the West Virginia is going to be the better option just because of the overmatch. Even if it doesn't quite have the same broadside potential that the uh, the Arizona offers, I think the the ma the fact that it can overmatch like this Dunkirk. This Dunkirk has no real chance here. He can't overmatch me, and I overmatch him. So he should not even have a fight. Yeah, Bayern, Queen Elizabeth, War Spite, all going to be super, super good choices for this. West Virginia, probably less so, but at the end of the day, it still overmatches. It still should be really, really good, uh, as long as I don't make any critical mistakes, like beaching myself on an island broadside to somebody. Um, the fact of the matter is, most people don't understand about going for the uh, bow side plating on an American Dreadnought. Like, it is an easy pathway to a Citadel on an American Dreadnought. So... We're going to move up, get into A, and see if we can't figure out what's going on. But yeah, this Dunkirk is probably going to struggle here. What up, Jonathan? How's it going? Gabriel as well. Godzilla in the chat. Boot Daddy, how's it going? Um, Monocle, how's it going? Dues? Juan? Uh, Caraver? dark one my kind of thing hope everybody's having a good night richard see you as well uh tyreal or yeah tyreal enemy force detected oh my god mm, not the best shot see he does have speed which is why he was behind that island before i even got to a chance to actually shoot him we're going to stay angled here because we are going to be shooting at each other through the gap. He didn't fire at me. I fired at him. He's going to be loaded. That's what we were hoping for. Is he going to beach? There's the overmatch. I need to get angled away like now. This guy is straight up trying to ram me, I think. Uh, he's going to he's gonna hit me hard here. I just hope he doesn't citadel me. Could just blow his guns off a ship. 
But honestly, because I overmatch him, I'm not, I'm not real worried about that. See what I mean? The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Goes one of his guns. I can't shoot him. Fucking turd biscuit, you fucking little pleb. Stop doing this. God, it's so fucking obnoxious. You fucking turd burglar. You've got no fucking skill whatsoever, which is why you're in a garbage ship for this. Fuck off. All you do is rob both of us of a fucking star, you stupid fuck. God, I hate people like that. He's a fucking jackass. He's got no fucking plan. He's a fucking piece of shit. Just fucking stop playing this bullshit. If you can't play a 1v1 in any fucking ship, then stop playing it. You're fucking trash, kid. Seriously. God, I hate that shit. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm a bad player. I'm just going to ram and screw over both of us. Well done. GG, you fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Learn to fucking play the game, you fucking pleb. I hate people like that, man. I absolutely hate them. They're fucking trash. They have no fucking clue what they're doing. They don't want to fucking lose the match. It's a loss for both people. A draw makes no fucking sense. If you got a base and you want to do that, that's one thing. But just a ram to ram just fucks over both of us. Quit being a fucking little bitch and actually learn to fight. God, I hate stupid fucks. What are we up against this time? Callie? Anybody who decides to run a fucking uh, Dunkirk in this is a fucking idiot. Like, seriously. It's like the worst ship you could possibly choose for this. Here, you can already see the difference between this and the uh, Arizona. Arizona hit that man for like 17k in the opening salvo. We hit him for 7,200. But the difference also is going to be this guy bow tanking us isn't going to do himself any favors. See, now's where I have to actually worry about a fucking ram because this guy just got that base. Even though he's slow as fuck, he ain't gonna be able to ram me, but... Bow side plating? Of damage to my superstructure, but go 
ahead and bow tank me. Well, we've already discussed this. Bow tanking isn't going to help you, buddy. The ship is on fire. Fuck. What is that? West Virginia! What is that? No, if I lose this fight because of that bullshit, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm actually gonna be fucking pissed. If I lose a fight with a Cali because of a fucking shot that only one shell hits the fucking target, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. Oh my god, that's so fucking annoying. That's so fucking annoying. And this is why I don't like the West Virginia for this. Oh my god, it's so fucking inconsistent. How do you miss the fucking ship at three kilometers? How do you miss a ship at three kilometers? Hit the fucking ship! You fucking piece of shit. God, this thing is so obnoxious when it comes to that shit. It is the worst fucking ship for fucking you when you need it the most. When you need the West Virginia to hit the most, that's when it completely fucks you. Every time. Every fucking time. When you need it the most, it will fuck you completely. God dang it. Ah! If I was in Arizona right there, that guy never gets that. Like, I would have killed him long before that. That's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying, man. I need to jump back in Arizona. I know it doesn't overmatch. We just got to play better in those matches where we're overmatched. But God, that's fucking annoying. That's the shit that pisses me off. That's why I don't play this and this. Because of the fucking inconsistency. It's so fucking inconsistent when it comes to shooting, especially up close. I don't understand it, but it, do it does. It's like when I get rushed in fucking this thing versus a destroyer. Should fucking annihilate a destroyer. But it will literally miss every shell. Every shell will completely avoid the fucking target up close and personal. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But to hit only one shell on a guy that is dead. Like, he's dead. All he has to do is fucking just take more than one shell. He dies. But no. Every shell avoids him except one. God, that's frustrating. Yo, Rafal coming in with the 25 PLM, or PLN, thank you, greetings from Poland, appreciate it, uh, do you what you love, live always, I appreciate you, uh, Legendary also coming in with the 5 Euro, I finished with the Worst Bite with just one loss, yeah, I mean, Worst Bite's a great ship, so is Queen Elizabeth, they are the number one choices for this, 100%, at least that's what I would choose, if I had an option. 
But I already said that I was going to do these with American battleships. Oh, he's going to flip around and get the rear guns. Oh, thank God we were lowering the citadel there. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Just gonna wait for him to come around. There it is. Huh. <sighs> that was a bit of a, you know, better better play out of the. West Virginia, is, it can be so good, but it can also be so fucking obnoxious. Uh, Mike. Salerno coming in with the five month membership renewal. Much appreciated, my dude. Thank you so much for being a member. Meta in the chat. How's it going? All Florida, all next ranked? I don't think so. I think for sure I'm going to go North Carolina if I had to guess. Okay, we are up against Dunkirk. Is this the same guy from earlier? If it is, I am never going to give him a fucking chance to ram me again. I promise you that. I will fucking ruin his entire existence. General Quarters. Don't get me wrong, I love I love the Florida, but Taking 14-inch guns, or is it 13? Might even be 13-inch guns, I forget. Taking those little tiny guns into tier 6 ranked 1v1 just equals bad day. Like, everything is going to overmatch you, and you don't have the ability to overmatch anything. So, yeah, don't, don't recommend it. I need a little better freaking accuracy out of this thing. Ah, the West Virginia isn't as agile as I'd like, though. I will say that. It'd be nice if this thing would turn a little bit quicker. There we go. Ouch! Okay, okay. I got you. We both just blapped the shit out of each other. I'm not giving you the fucking chance to ram me again. I'm assuming it's the same fucking guy, because only nobody does this. Nobody brings Dunkirk in, into a fight like this. It's just a bad, bad idea. And I'm showing you exactly why. When I angle properly, he can't do shit to me, and I'm fucking ripping him apart. He left the circle. Destroyed one and knocked out the other one. You hate to see that, don't you guys? Such a good idea to bring that ship into the game. All right, solid. I'm tempted just to shoot his other turret. 
Because we knocked out the front one. <laughs> oh! Feels bad, don't it? Get out of here! You fucking little freaking Dunkirk. You got no business being here. You brought the wrong ship. Ah, that, that guy wasn't gold, so it wasn't the same Dunkirk. But I feel better now. Fucking Dunkirk. Who the fuck thinks that's a good idea? Uh, Monty, you know it's not going to work that way. Me and Pete tried to do the whole count-in thing the last time, and it didn't work. And that was with ultra-low latency on the thing, and he was in my party at the time. So, as much as I would love... Oh, dear God. Well, this isn't preferable. I mean, of all the things to go up against, the Nevni isn't the worst, so there's that. But this is like the worst battleship for killing destroyers on the planet. It will literally miss every fucking shell at a destroyer. It's not preferable. Not preferable. Monty, you already know how the 1v1 ends. It's not in your favor. Period. It doesn't happen. Ever. Last time we 1v1'd, it was literally you and your full health Iowa versus me and a, what, third of a health fucking linen. And you got your ass kicked. Kicked! See, I'm, I'm worried about using HE here because I know that it's, it's a two-shot kill if I use AP. Nine times out of ten, I hit enough shells with the AP that I, I take them down to a two-shot kill. But, he's not in the cap yet. On either side. Oh, he just got into the cap. So he's right behind this big island. HE terrifies me because every time I try to use HE against it, uh, DD in an American battleship, it just ends with my suffering. Enemy force detected. Oh, very nice. He, he got that close. Fantastic. Love to see that. Knocked out two. Hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. Oh, yeah. What happened, little buddy? Did you fucking lose all your will to fight now? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you, you had one shot. One shot and you fucked it all up. Get out of here. Yep. Gray. He had one chance. All right, let's see what we got now. Byron, okay. So both of us overmatch each other. I gotta aim high because he has the he has the um, icebreaker. Switch back to AP before I forget. If I had to guess, I'd say this guy's probably going to try to get up close and personal um, to use the secondaries, and I don't want that. So, this thing's armor sucks, so secondaries do quite a bit of damage to it. So, I'm going to kind of kite out to the outside edge of this one. If he goes inside and grabs A, we could lose this based on points. 
but we'll see. We shall see. He's already in Bravo because he's faster than us. Takes us time to get moving. Also depends on what what Byron shows up. Is it going to be the accurate Byron that we've seen occasionally, or is it going to be the absolutely freaking awful trolley Byron that I tend to end up with? See if we can spot him with our plane. Spotter airborne. Enemy force detected. Yes, that's exactly where I'm looking. Okay, so he is going for the other cap. He is also going to beach. Yeah, I, I know, Legendary. I, I know I forgot to finish reading your thing, but yeah, the War Spite's very good, man. Um, I I like the Queen Elizabeth a little more than the War Spite because it seems to take hits better for me. But uh, yeah, they're both very, very good. And if you run Azure Lane Nelson with the accuracy and the, tr the five heals, it's pretty nasty. Hard to beat in a 1v1. Because they are accurate and consistent. And they overmatch. And they have fast reloads. He should have bounced off that island by now. Come on, Byron, where are you hiding? I really thought I'd see him by now, but this is a little ridiculous. He must just be parked right up against the island. Oh, he got into the other cat. I didn't even notice. Damn it. Didn't even notice. Okay. Well, that kind of changes things. How did he get turned? It looked like he was about to run aground. How did he get turned and get to the fucking other cap? <sighs> kind of wish he would fight me. I was expecting him to be a little bit more aggressive. Didn't expect him to take the, uh, grab the base route. Okay, he did leave this cap, so there's that. Kind of a boring fight so far. It's like the Battle of Toledo. You guys never heard of that one? You should look it up. All right, so he's got a bit of an advantage. 65 points advantage. So I need to try to get over there and at least sit in his base for a couple of, a couple of seconds. Just don't know what he's doing. But he has the points lead, so I gotta watch out for a, a ram. He is in our base, so he is coming back. Which side is he going to? Is he going right or is he going left? I swear to God, if he goes that way and I'm coming this way, I'm gonna be pissed. And I think that's exactly what he's doing. Friggin' ridiculous. Come out and fight me like a man! You little punk! 
He heard me. You can see the damage that those secondaries are doing. Pretty nasty. Dude, how did they give him that? Like, really? He knocks out one of my turrets. He's gonna beat me because of the secondaries. Like, the secondaries are just beating me apart. And there's the fire. That's what I was worried about, man. I didn't want to get up close and personal with him, but he forced me because he went into the other base. Damn it, man. Gray, too. To lose a fight to a fucking gray. Damn it! This fucking ship sucks for getting fucking beat down by fucking secondaries. So annoying. Hmm. I think we go back to Arizona because we need the armor. It's gonna suck not having the overmatch ability, but so far we've only went up against two people that have overmatched us. So... We're just going to have to try to play better, but yeah, we can't have that thin of armor against secondaries. Like, you saw he was, he was doing like 2,000 damage with secondaries every few seconds. Like, it was ridiculous. Well, rip the Leander. This guy got fucked. Well, I mean, the, the problem with the West Virginia, it doesn't have armor. It literally has no armor. There's a little sliver along the mid-belt that you got to try to get people to shoot in order to ricochet or bounce. And the fact that he overmatches, like, it doesn't matter where I angle. If he can hit that fucking upper side plating, he can go through regardless. That's, that's the problem with the West Virginia. It doesn't have the armor. And then his secondaries on top of that are just chewing us apart because they can, they can do damage to us as, as well. It's just not, not preferable. So, back to the Arizona, back to the turtle. Let's do it. This poor Leander's got no chance. Like, there's nothing he can do. Uh, unless he ambushes us around the corner and is able to, to get some, like, torpedoes into me at point blank, I just don't see him living. There's no way. Gonna need better accuracy than that, though. Didn't even hit him. Alright. Hits my superstructure and just absolutely decimates it. And now he's smoking up. Interesting strategy. Gonna anticipate torpedoes there. Let's go ahead and rotate the guns the other direction. I don't want to go through that little gap. Yeah, there's the torpedoes. It's all that coming. Overpins. The ship is on fire.
Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. Did you think I was that stupid? Like, is that what you thought? Like, is that, that really what you thought? You think I was actually that dumb? Who do you think I am? God, I have never overpinned a fucking Leander this much in my life. Like, I have never overpinned a Leander this much in my life. This man is a fucking lucky son of a bitch. Especially with an Arizona. Like, this should be death every time I shoot him. Can't hide behind that fucking island forever. All I need is one more good shot against him and he's dead. Hello, how are you? Now we sit Adelum, of course. He gave it a hell of a shot. He got really lucky with all of the overpins. I have never not Citadel to fucking Leander that much in my life. What up, Ian? How's it going? Can we see a Bismarck video? Not a chance. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not playing the Bismarck. It's just not going to be a thing. I, I can't stand that ship. All right. We got another Leander. Interesting. Well, let's hope that this, this map's a little harder to maneuver in, so we're going to have to keep that in mind, but... Yeah, you gotta get the Pitadel there at the end, right? Couldn't Citadel him while he was full health because overpins are a thing. But as soon as you get him down to nothing left, guaranteed Citadel. Guaranteed. And that goes for PC or Legends. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just guaranteed. Interesting. What'd this guy do? See a battleship and then just decide to not... Ah, okay. Okay, I see you. Yep. He's at five and a half kilometers. Remember that. Five and a half kilometers.
actually. Let's go ahead and make a huge course correction because we know that he's going to be torping. Thought about blind firing him to be honest, but I want to give him at least a chance. He's like, dang it. I thought for sure he was going to stay in a straight line and run into those torpedoes. Any moment. Hey, I'm sonar, which means he's within four and a half. His secondaries are firing. He got a he got a fire with the secondaries, really. The ship is on fire. Torpedoes dead ahead. All right. Didn't expect that. We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. He's not going to be able to hide forever. As soon as I get through this smoke, he's a dead man. And he knows it. Hello. Get him, secondaries. You think you're actually torping me? I don't think so. All right. Next. I don't need to I don't need to play the Cali. There's no real reason to. Cali has uh, essentially the same guns as the Arizona. Arizona's got better armor profiles if you ask me. Cali gets a little better torque production. But it's not that big a difference. It's like 37 to 40 if I remember correctly. So it's not a huge difference. Another cruiser this time a Graf Spee. All right. All right, I see you, Graf Spee. You got a heal. Think you're a battleship. We'll see how you do. The Graf Spee is actually a pretty good choice for this. Because uh, you can YOLO battleships. You got six torpedoes per side, if I remember correctly. So you can YOLO battleships. You got decent armor. You got heals. Like, only downside for him is that I got the ability to overmatch his bow. So if he goes bow in, I'm just going to fucking nuke him. Already detected. Now remember, Graf Spee has 283 millimeter guns. It does not overmatch us. Enemy force detected. He also only gets six of them in two turrets. Go ahead and just say hello, you know, Arizona style. Hi, how you doing? See, this is what battleships do. You're not a battleship. Hate to tell you. And we're also in, like, best map for this, too. Like, he's not going to be able to close the distance to the point where I'm going to be taking torpedoes effectively. He's bowing again. Let's just say hello again. From battleship to, uh, not. <laughs> He's like, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. How am I supposed to compete? He ain't even closing the distance. You damn right I ain't closing the distance. You got six fucking torpedoes per side. I ain't letting you get within six kilometers of my ass. You out of your damn mind if you think I'm gonna let you get within six kilometers. Thank you for getting rid of the bot. Much appreciated, moderators. Oh, look! He's bow tanking me again. Here, I'm just staying broadside to him because I want him to have a little bit of damage, get some XP out of it. There you go. See? You're a battleship, too. One day you'll grow up and be a Sharnhorst. 
It's okay. <laughs> One day he'll grow up and be a Sharnorst. Also, it sounds like the flooding rain has started. So there's that. If you guys weren't here for the beginning of the stream, we are under a flood watch tonight. Uh, we have a cold front that's going to stall over our area and drop a whole bunch of rain. And uh, it's been raining all morning, but it's just been kind of a drizzle. Well, it's it's picked up. It's an actual downpour out there right now. It's raining pretty freaking good, and it's supposed to rain like that basically the rest of the night. So we're looking at a few inches of few inches of rain anyway. All right, Arizona versus Tennessee. This is this should be a good fight. Adding extra penetration does not cause your ship to overmatch. You have to have the the proper caliber guns to overmatch. I promise you. Uh, Graf Speed does overmatch cruiser armor at its tier, but not battleship armor. No matter how much penetration you throw on it, you're not going to cause an overmatch. Um, and it's solely due to the fact that overmatching is is based on the caliber of the guns multi or divided by 14.3. So if you take the caliber of your guns, divide it by 14.3, that'll give you the amount of armor that you can overmatch. Anything with that amount of armor or less, you will be able to overmatch and do damage regardless of angle of, of impact. Firing H E at us. Missing us. He's ripple firing H E at us at that. Interesting. Very interesting. If I had to guess, I'd say this guy is a gray player for sure. Stay broadside to me, buddy. The ship is on fire. Poor guy. It's one of those fights where you just you look at the guy and you're like, ah, this guy clearly has no idea what he's doing. All right, we're not going to turn in to get closer to him because I'm afraid that he's going to try to ram me. So we're going to turn out here, go around this island. He's shooting HE, so if I'm broadside to him, I'm not too worried. Maybe he's suckering me in. Maybe he's going to drop uh, an AP salvo on me here, but I don't think so. He's finally decided he doesn't want to stay broadside to us. The ship is on fire. But he has given me enough. Ah, oh, I did it again. God dang it. I gotta quit running aground in these fucking 1v1s. Now, I saved all of his superstructure hit points for this. So I should be able to kill him with superstructure here. Or not. Secondaries, maybe? Problem 
Assault, sir. Secondaries? You want to fire your fucking secondaries, please? Or do I not have secondaries because he killed them all with his fucking HE? That's a very real possibility. I think he did. I think he literally killed all of our secondaries with his fucking HE spam. Alright. Damn bots. Uh, Joseph Ackfeld coming in with a $10 dono. Okay, so now I feel bad about the whole asking if you'll be my dad. What is the proper term? Mom and dad? Will you be my family? Love you and proud of you. I appreciate that, Joseph. Again, like I said in my video, I don't care, guys. Like, if you, I don't care what you call me. I just, I'm doing this for me. I'm trying to feel better about myself. That's all it is. That's all it is. Like, I don't worry about what other people call me or anything like that. So, uh, you guys keep doing what you do. I'll keep doing what I do. And everybody will be happy. Bayern. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're going to have to be a little bit better. We have to be better. We know that his ship is definitely going to uh, be better than us in a overmatch sense. So, we've got to try to be better everywhere else. What up, Stax? How's it going? I'm doing good, man. Hopefully, hopefully you are as well. Dr. Fat in the house as well. Ass Diesel Tech. Nice. Yeah, instead of timing those guys out, just, just hide them from the channel, guys. Those bots, just hide them. Like, they're not going to stop, so don't time them out. Just hide them from the channel. Damn it, we did it again. We gotta stop. If they turn in like that, and he's a secondary build too. If they turn in like that, we've gotta aim for that. We gotta stop losing the initial fire, or initial shot. All right, that's enough. I'll fucking do it myself. Well, you guys have already done it. Yeah, just fucking hide them. There's no reason for them. Also, we're up to 430 people. Holy shit. If you guys like what you see, punch that like button for me, guys. For real. Definitely helps the channel. Okay, he went into the other base. It's kind of predictable. is on fire problem solved sir okay we managed to pull the pull the battle back in terms of HP trading
Darth Waifu coming in with a $2 uh, dono. Why not the West Virginia? Why'd you pick the Arizona? Well, I tried the West Virginia a couple of times, and its inconsistency with the main guns is what's kicking me up my butt. Also, it's got no armor. And in these fights like this, where we're up against the, uh, the secondary builds, like, the secondaries just tear us up. Just used our last heal. I need to knock these front guns out. There we go. We got both of them that time. So they're both weak. We're very close in terms of overall hit points. I don't think this guy knows he overmatches me. Like, I honestly don't think he knows. Because he hasn't been shooting like he, he's overmatching. Knocked out another gun. Come on, secondaries. Give me a fire, baby. Okay, he actually got through the bow side plating that time. Our secondaries are just not causing fires. There we go. The ship is on fire. Yes! That was a hard fought victory, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Carl Granath coming in with the 20 SEK. Um, the Swedish Krona over there. Spartan, don't you miss your high testosterone level? Honestly, like, there's only there's only one, one thing that, like, it hurts really with uh, being on estrogen for so long. And that is just the fact that, like, I don't have the strength that I used to have. I just don't. Like, I've lost probably 50% of my overall, like, physical strength. And uh, that does suck, especially when helping. And you can tell that guy was a good player. GG cast was a good. F that was a good fight. I think that that guy actually didn't realize that he overmatched, though. Had he taken advantage of the overmatching and shot down on me more, I think he would have had a better time. Um, but GG, and uh, let's move on to the next one. But uh, yeah. Like, overall, like, that's that's really the only thing that I miss. I will say this. I am way more emotional on estrogen. Like, way more. It's like, and I'm not meaning, like, I have more emotional swings. It's just, like, it. it's like estrogen takes your emotions and dials them up to, like, 11. So everything that you felt before, but you could suppress as a guy, you just can't anymore. Uh, and it's most notable, like, when you're watching movies. Like, I know that sounds stupid. But it's like if you're watching a movie and it gets really, really happy or really, really sad, it is like somebody turns on a faucet. It's it's awful, but it's also awesome at the same time. 
It's kind of nice not feeling like a robot. Okay, we got a Prince Itell, and this thing has nasty secondaries. So we gotta watch for that. But I don't think it has 15 inch guns. I could be wrong. I don't remember what guns the Prince Itell has. I know it's got good secondaries. We definitely got the better of the first trade, that's for sure. There's the b bounce and ricochets. That's why I like the Arizona so much. You get into that dreadnought shuffle. If they shoot at your broadside, you're just going to be bouncing and ricocheting all day long. Not the best accuracy out of that salvo, for sure. I expect the secondaries to start going off any time. Actually, he got me turning out here. Okay, we're good. Not the most accurate out of these German battleships, either. And there's the secondary starting at five and a half kilometers. Knocked one of his turrets. Look at the amount of hits that we get with our secondaries versus how many he gets with his secondaries. Our secondaries are more accurate than his. Which is why we're able to set more fires usually than the Germans. And this is something that I mention all the time and everybody's like, Oh, but German secondaries! And it's like, eh. Eh. Damn it, we hit the bow plate, or the bow itself. I can't really angle here effectively due to the fact that I've got to worry about these damn islands. We might get blapped here. Nope. He did destroy a gun, unfortunately. Dude, he gets another fire immediately. Really? The ship is on fire. The fact that he knocked out one of our turrets is definitely not preferable. I do have a feeling he's going to come through straight through. There we go. We destroyed one of his turrets as well. A little bit of payback. We do have the points lead, so worst case scenario, we could ram. Don't want to. Which turret did we break? We broke the front gun. Okay. Another fire. Come on, secondaries. Give me a fire back, please. out his front gun and did good damage through the superstructure. If this guy rams us right now, he loses. 
So I'm not that worried about him ramming me here. gonna let him ram me though we've got him burning he's dead he's dead American wins ouch fuck you if he'd have killed me with that I'm not gonna lie I would have been extremely salty not gonna lie all right ggs on to the next one What is with these bots today? Seriously. Go away. Nobody wants you, bots. Also, 450 people watching, only 193 likes. Run that like button up for me. Much appreciated, guys. It does help. It does help a lot. All right, Arizona versus Bayern. We're going to have to uh, take it easy. We know what we got to do. We know what we have to do. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Round and round and up and down we go. Oh, again. Okay, we're about to get spotted. He actually got the better end of that trade at range, which is unusual. Okay. Maybe an accuracy Byron. He's swinging around to get the rear guns. Spotter returning to ship. See if he shoots my bow or if he shoots at my belt. You cannot give him that. Like, he literally just... Come on. This is definitely an accuracy, Byron. Probably hide build. We need him to make some mistakes in maneuvering around these islands. Give us some potential. He just shot the island. That's actually big. We took a turret temporarily. Yo, Hustle coming in with a $20 dono because I don't think I've ever donoed to you to say thanks for all the help and for always being supportive and entertaining. I appreciate you, Hustle. Thanks a lot. Also, Jason coming in with the $2. I don't have Hustle money, but love the content. Also, Dylan coming in with a two-month resubscription. Thank you for being a member on the channel, my dude. Good Lord, you guys just punched me right in the mouth.
We gotta watch the ram. He easily could win this with a ram right now. And I think he knows it. The ship is on fire. I think he knows it. I think this is a lost. I don't think there's any way I dodge this ram. Problem solved, sir. a bitch get fucked get fucked karma is a bitch america <laughs> oh my god what is that what even is that <laughs> oh oh that's hilarious that's fucking hilarious <laughs> uh God bless America. That guy's pissed. He's like, this is horseshit. What is this? <laughs> oh, golly. That guy deserved it. He deserved it. Uh, let me back out. I'll play one in the Cali. I don't want to play the Cali, so I'm only going to play the one. But I'll play one in the Cali. Dude, that guy's gonna need a new TV, not just a controller. That man literally just slammed his freaking controller right through his TV. He played it well. Like, he knew all he had to do was ram me and he wins that match. He had the points lead. If he rams and kills me and we both die. But the, the risk that you take is that ramming in this game is very, very stupid. You never know what's gonna happen in a ram. And I think me running into that island caused my ship to like recoil a little bit which is why i didn't die when he rammed me <laughs> oh god bless america that's great that's fantastic you love to see it now cali's got better armor overall than uh, arizona does it also has better torp protection obviously but at the end of the day i just like my arizona better i don't know I've just always liked the Arizona so much more. It's so good. I've scored over 200,000 damage in an Arizona, for God's sakes. I've never done that in a Cali. Of course, I don't play the Cali a whole lot, so that could be part of it. But Enemy sighted on the horizon. Good opening salvo. We get angled well, so he doesn't do crap. He's going to retreat behind the island so that I can't shoot him a second time here. Which is fine. Actually, I still might be able to get a second shot here. Mm, not likely. We'll take it just in case. Nah, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Alright, so we'll get ready to play him as he goes through the next gap. I mean, us surviving that ram against all odds right there, that should be enough to get a, a like, I'm sure, right? I liked it. Come on, baby. Go for that bow side plating. Blap! All right, we're going to do the same thing again and see if he learns his lesson or if he's going to continue to push. If he continues to push, we should be able to kill him on the next salvo because we'll be close enough. Oh my God, we left him alive. We, we actually left him alive. That's unfortunate. The ship is on 
Get him, secondaries. There's the fire. Good night, secondary, or good night, New Mexico. Not even gonna fire the guns. Oh, he put it out. Got a fire. <laughs> there you go, Callie. Holy mother of God, you guys just hit me again. Mario Gravasi coming in with the 20 euros. I am just tripling what Vat Vatkin said. Wait, what? Did I miss one? I, I missed what Vatkin said. But thank you so much, Mario, for the 20 euros. Also, Jankonobix coming in with the $50 bomb. Thanks for all you do, Spartan. Been a fan and sub for three years now. Like most of us here, you got me into this game. Good luck in future endeavors. Appreciate that, Jank. Really do. Thank you for the $50 bomb. That's incredibly generous. But damn, y'all are killing it out here. Whew. All right. Three more wins. Do you guys want me to stay in the, the Cali or do you want me to try something else? I'm not doing Primal. I'll try any of the other ones. What up, Kevin? Appreciate you. All right, what do we go? Arizona, California, New Mexico, Tennessee, or West Virginia, boys. We already played West Virginia. I don't really want to play it again. Okay, so I that's a good question. So a lot of people have been asking why I'm not losing these fights. Uh, well, the bow side plating is where I like to aim. When we're in these close, close quarters duels, okay, the bow side plating, which is right here. Get rid of that. 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 And the Citadel. See it either end of the ship. This is your bow and stern side plating. Okay. Once they over angle, like if they're trying to turn to get the guns on board, you don't want to shoot the belt because the belt's the thickest part of the armor, which is this section right here in the middle. So you want to aim for the bow. On American Dreadnoughts in particular, because of where the Citadel is located, you can actually citadel American battleships through the bow side plating, even at an angle like this. So if, if people are coming around an island on you, there's a good chance that you can citadel them and even dev strike them. I have dev struck uh, other American battleships because they overangle, and you can go right through that bow side plating right into the citadel. Because as you can see, the citadel sticks up just as the bow side plating ends. So that's what I'm talking about with the bow side plating. So if they overangle it, it's usually thin armor. Of course, on the American Dreadnoughts, you don't, you only have the, what is it, the 25 millimeters? Yeah, 25 millimeter armor, which means 15 inches and above overmatches it, which is why I always talk about the Dreadnought Shuffle. Trying to bait people into shooting the side and uh, belt armor, which, let's get rid of the superstructure armor. So look at all the armor that you have on your belt. You've got torpedo protection, which acts as an extra layer of armor, and you also have the actual belt armor, which is 230, 203 to 343 millimeters thick. So that's why these ships are so tanky in a dreadnought shuffle. And then on top of that, you've got that extra layer of 26 millimeters for uh, the torpedo bulge. All right, people asking for Tennessee. Let's let's jump in Tennessee. Good evening, Marble. Appreciate you dropping in. Yeah, I mean, you can catch people off guard. If you know the weaknesses of your ships, uh, especially like me, I always try to like put myself in positions where I'm, I'm, oh, damn it. Okay, it's a mayhem. We're fine. We're fine. It's a mayhem. Vactin, here's another 10 since I missed your first 10. Besides, I need to match Hustle. I appreciate that. Also, where did I miss it? Oh, I, I, I apologize, man. I do see it now. Also, I missed Dylan's. Okay, so I missed two donos there. Vactin came in with a $10. I am just seconding what Hustle said. So thank you very much. And then Dylan came in with a $10 Canadian right after that. Uh, I appreciate it too, Dylan. Sorry I missed your guys' chats. Uh, it kind of all hit at one time, so it... Kind of skipped up on me and I missed him. So I do apologize. 
I never try to I never try to miss people's donos for sure. Uh, you guys are incredibly generous. You really are. You guys are actually incredibly generous. Now, if you're wondering why there's no face cam, if you guys weren't here at the beginning, um, I had to get new. I had to get these special glasses that I have to wear until April sixth. Um, they are prism glasses. They've got these like waffles cut into them to try to force my eyes a certain way, uh, which is basically just trying to get my brain to adapt to changes once I go into surgery. Because uh, I plan on having surgery on my right eye to get my eye corrected so that it's not drifting off on its own anymore. And uh, so that that's why I've got to wear these. And because they're prism glasses with these grooves cut into them, they catch the light really, really badly. So I can't, I can't use my face cam because my lights that I have to use with my face cam, they just blind me. I can't see shit. So that I do apologize for. But uh, hopefully we find this little bastard soon. It's a mayhand, so I'm figuring he's going to try to get up close and personal to torpedo us. He is getting into caps. So he's definitely over there. We've got to be careful. We are definitely in danger zone. And it's not likely that we one-shot him, unfortunately. Just worried about where he's actually at. He went straight through the cap. Enemy force detected. There we go. That's big. That's actually big. Not sure if he got any torps through that gap. But we're going to turn and get our guns ready for the YOLO rush over here. He did actually get torps through there. We took one, didn't cause a flood. That's huge. That's actually major. Yeah, he's just sitting on the other side of this island. So what I'm thinking, I think we've got him, actually. I don't think he's going to kill us with a set of torpedoes here. He should only have one set. So he gets three sets of torpedoes, one on either side and one in the middle. Yeah, he's just playing hide-and-go-seek now, which is fine. He thinks I'm just going to keep yellowing around this corner. He's crazy. We're just grabbing this base while he's not in it. We've got the lead. he comes through he's dead and he knows it i think what he's doing is he's contesting my cap while also having a, a cap so i need to kind of get over here to contest his i think the smart play for me would be to try to create some distance between me and this island he did run aground
This guy's actually playing this really well. He knows that I'm struggling to get around to actually be able to shoot him. If I get close to him, he knows what he has to do to, like, dodge me. He's got both caps currently. Running out of time to play with him, though. That's the downside. He's getting a lot of points here. Just hoping he makes a mistake because he can't see me. Like, that's the downside of both of us. Like, if I stay close enough to actually spot him, then he's spotting me back and he can just dodge me all day. gonna try to double back and catch him but he's gonna spot me and as soon as he spots me yeah, he's just gonna dodge hoping that I kind of catch him to where he has to reverse that's the only chance that I have here the only fucking chance I have Come on, Tennessee. Give me everything you got. Please don't run into that fucking iceberg. I think we got him. Hold the shot. The ship is on fire. There we go. All right. Well, that was a little bit of a sweat fest, needlessly. The guy actually played it really well, but uh, us doubling back, forcing him to reverse away from us rather than be able to go forward is what got us that, that W. So uh, GG to him. A uh, great player, too. Like, that, that's actually good play by a great player. I'll tell you, tell you that much. Like, he was doing the right thing, 100%. Uh, let's, oops, go back. Uh, we'll jump back in. Uh, so we haven't run the New Mexico yet. Let's do that. Uh, Darth Waifu coming in with the $2. Will you play some Montana after rank today? We could probably do that. A couple matches anyway. And Mario Gervasi coming in with the 5 euros. Sorry for the spam, but I need to know what a target acquisition mod does before I waste 2 million on it. Okay, so target acquisition mod, it increases the range of guaranteed target acquisition. Okay, that's, that's all it does. So proxy spotting is what RGA is, range of guaranteed acquisition. Uh, it's called proxy spotting. When you get within two kilometers of somebody, you're guaranteed to detect them, whether they're on the backside of an island. It's what me and the destroyer was doing. So we were proxy detecting each other at two kilometers. The RGA mod increases that two kilometers to three kilometers. So in theory, I would be able to keep him lit up at three kilometers, and he wouldn't be able to see me until he got within two kilometers. That's what the RGA mod does. And uh, also, thank you for your five euros, my dude. Much appreciated. Uh, Tennessee, okay.
pretty even ground here. He put up his plane. Okay, it looks like he's going for the outside edge. What up, Beatdown? How's it going? Sean3000, how's it going? America made in the chat. Appreciate everybody dropping by as Godzilla as well. Hope everybody's having a good time. Still over 460 people in the chat. 291 likes if you like what I'm doing. Punch that like button for me, folks. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for showing up. This has been a heck of a stream so far. Okay. We'll take that. We'll see what this guy wants to do after getting slapped. We definitely got the better angle on him. He's got a first fire. The ship is on fire. Going for that bow side plating. We managed to kill one of his guns as well. Another shot through the bow side plating. Destroyed another gun. So both of his front guns are completely destroyed. This man is a torpedo. He is officially a torpedo. We are getting the fuck away from this guy. He's got no chance in this fight. Unless he citadels us with his rear guns. He still has all of his health allocated to his, his uh, superstructure as well. So that's what we're going to go for here. We're going to go for the superstructure. There we go. Easy, easy game there. That's real unfortunate for him to lose both of his front guns like that, but that's why I don't shoot for the guns. I can kill his guns by going through the bow side plating as well because the barbette for the turret goes down into the ship. So, uh... You can kill a gun by killing the barbette. You don't have to shoot the actual gun itself. If you get those side profile shots. And now we only have one game left to rank out, guys. One game until we rank out. What do you guys want me to play? I'll wait for you guys. Let me uh, do a poll. Uh, that was not the poll. End poll. Uh, poll. We got uh, add options, Arizona, West Virginia, New Mexico, Tennessee, um, Instead of West Virginia, we'll go Cali. How about that? Ask the community. I'll let you guys do it. There's your options. Place your bets, fellas and ladies. Thank you all for joining us. What ship are we going to uh, finish ranked in? Currently, Arizona, California tied. Arizona takes a, a narrow lead. We're going to leave this open for the next minute, guys. The next minute at 6.58 p.m. my time, the poll will end. Cast your votes. Cast your votes. Four hundred and fifty people watching, 80 votes so far. Come on, you guys got this. Yo, California comes back to take a narrow lead. He's 38% to 37. Who's going to win it? Is it going to be Cali? Are we going to get down with the thickness? Or are we going absolute tanky Arizona? Who's going to take the lead? Looks like New Mexico and Tennessee are out of the running. So it is a two-ship race, and Arizona comes back to reclaim the lead. We've got California closing in, though. 
It's a 39 to 38, guys. Less than a minute to go in this poll. Vote for your favorite. Callie comes back to take the lead. This is going to come down to the wire, folks. Every vote counts. Every single vote counts. Who is going to... Arizona comes back for the lead. This is getting heated. This is getting heated. Arizona, Callie just slugging it out. We got secondaries firing. Full salvos being traded. Who is going to take the game? And time! By the narrowest of margins, it looks like Arizona takes the... Oh, no! Arizona and Cali tied at 40%. Arizona and Cali tied at 40%. Dang. Arizona had the, the slightest of margins, but Cali pulled it back to even the odds right at the end. You know what that means? We got to do it again, only with two choices. And place your bets, folks. Place your bets. Arizona or California, it's coming down to the wire. These two juggernauts, these two beautiful, glorious ships. Let's take a look at the Arizona. Do you want this beautiful behemoth? Huh? Look at this beautiful ship. We got 14 inch 50 caliber main battery turrets we've got a beautiful profile nice tanky armor historic ship and we have down with the thick one here we go the thickness is real folks the thickness is real doesn't get much thicker than this once again we've got 14 inch 50 caliber main guns all of the secondaries all of the torpedo protection. And I mean, it's just hard to pass on those wide hips, am I right? So who is going to take the lead? Callie currently has quite a lead. It's got a 5% lead right now. We're going to go until 7 p.m. my time. That's less than one minute, folks. Less than one minute. Callie's starting to stretch his legs. The thick one is pulling away. The thick one is pulling away. We got a 10% lead for California. This is the only time California has won a race. Come on. California, you could do it. We have faith. Oh, but Arizona's starting to pull it back. Arizona pulling it back. Who's going to who's gonna come up? Oh, and time. It is officially 7 p.m. And that means that California, we're getting down with the thickness for the final battle of ranked. In theory, I, I could lose. We could end up playing another battle. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, the only one thicker is Kansas for sure. Here we go, baby. Tears of the Desert. This is not Tears of the Desert. <laughs> it's a Mutsu B. It's a Mutsu B. He's got torpedoes, he's got main guns, he's got all the things that you'd ask for except armor. So let's go just punch this man right in the mouth. Shall we? Battle starts. Let's go get this man right in his mouth. Punch him right in the mouth. Let's leave the politics out, guys, please. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's some funny jokes, but I don't want to start that war in chat, for God's sakes. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Getting down with the thickness. Uh, this man's is angled away from us. Interesting. See how that works out for him. Think we got the better end of that deal. And he's running. He is straight up running away. Interesting strategy. Well, we'll get in here and capture these bases then, if that's what he wants to do.
Okay, let's go ahead and transfer the guns to the right side. We'll get this base capped first. There's no reason for us to rush this. Like, this is our rank out game. We don't need to do anything crazy. We are definitely more accurate than he is at any sort of range. And the only real danger that he has, other than he has 16-inch guns, but they're like World War I shells, so they're not the best. It's not like uh, West Virginia, who has just really good shells. It's a sneaky torpedo. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. Kind of like it. This guy's got range on his torpedoes. Of course, it is a very small map. Enemies have jumped into the cap. ahead and heal some. I think he's actually pushing straight across, so I think we'll just wait. We'll get this base cap too. No reason to rush it. If you guys remember uh, Vacton, I think it was. Uh, who, was it Vacton? Somebody got into a game with us uh, a couple of weeks back in ranked, and they chased us around this corner and we obliterated them. So we don't want to get into that fight. There's some more torpedoes. That's what I was looking for. Wait for it. <laughs> That's what I was looking for, baby. You can't play with me. You just can't. You can't play that game. If I make you come around the corner, you are going to die. GG. Poor gray guy. That poor gray guy never had a chance. Never had a chance. Never had a ship. But uh, that'll do it, guys. That is ranked battles 1v1 tier 5 over. We did lose a couple. Uh, especially early on when we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. But overall, we had a pretty solid showing. Let's go service record and check it out. We go last season. We had Arizona with an 81% total win rate for the season. Um, yeah. Uh, 18. Oh, wait. Let's go to statistics. That's what we want. Go back here. Go here. 21 total battles it took us to win. We did lose three, and we had one draw because of the Ram. Uh, but we had a pretty solid showing overall. 57% main gun accuracy. So uh, definitely love to see that. Um, yeah, it was a really, really solid game. Average of 2,478 base XP. Yeah, the, the Mutsu definitely does not have the armor to be trying to chase. It just doesn't. Now, somebody asked for a Montana game or two to end the stream, so let's go ahead and do that. You know I love the Montana. I ain't got no problem playing it. Uh, I did miss a dono during that one. Let me double check it. Yo, Barry, my cockiner. <laughs> $10 dono. Thank you so much. Mutsu will slap his torpedo across your face. How did that work out for him, Barry? <laughs> How did that work out? Who got slapped across the face? I punched that man right in his kisser. Right in his kisser. Pretty sure that uh, Barry also is uh, related to Seymour Butts, the doctor, if you guys have ever heard of him. Uh, also, Mike Hawk is another another big one in his family. But uh, yeah, let's play a couple of games into Montana to end the stream. Everybody loves Montana. We got a couple of Yamis out here. We got a Kerr first. We've got Northern Waters, and we spawned right side. A Mino and a Udachi. Okay. What do we got with us? We got an Alaska and... Hello? Mino. Okay. 
Mine are looking good over there in black. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that only choked him. He, he, he was not capable of taking it all. That's for sure. He took it all and he exploded. General quarters. Darn it, the bots are back. The bots are back. Hide it. Get out of here. Stupid bots. Yeah, we'll open the crates this time too. I completely forgot on the last uh the last time we did these 1v1s. I completely forgot to open my crates for you guys. So we'll do that too. I am spotted broadside on. It's either a cruiser or the destroyer. So we're about to get shot by everybody on the map. Enemy force Here they detected. come. Yami number one has taken a shot at us. We're going to continue our turn out. He gets a couple of pins, but basically nothing. Don't know why we only have 19.43 range on this map. It's only 19.25 there. He turned way out. Oh my god. <laughs> they will never learn. You cannot be spotted in open water in a mino. It's just going to end in your death. It's just going to end in your death. Speaking of ending in your death. Hello broadside Alaska on the back of an island thinking you're safe. Let's see how that works out for you. Oh my god, that guy, and speaking of Minos getting blapped out of existence, ouch, we just triple citadel to fucking Alaska, that man has no hit points left, he's gonna heal some of that back, that man just got slapped. We're going to aim a little high here, because he's at, at range. That didn't hit as hard as I'd hoped. I think he turned in a little bit, so we ended up missing high. You want to use your radar there, bud? Okay, so he's like right there behind that island, I think. Oh, he like slowed down and stopped. Nice kill. We're aim back because I think he's going to reverse. Go for that bow side plating. There we go. We needed that. Nice work. Got a Kerfers coming over to say something too. So we got to watch out for that. The ship is on fire. Try to reach over the island. Problem solved, sir. Yeah, hit him in a ricochet. 
going to use the island to close the distance with this Yami too. Closer we get, the better off we are. Go for the superstructure on this guy. Don't know why we didn't get all of our guns loaded at the same time or roughly. Swing and a miss, mister. Swing and a miss. Okay, this guy's angled too much to go through that bow side plating. He's going to blap us. You cannot give him that citadel through the bow. You can't. That's horseshit. That's actual horseshit. I'm going to use the rear turrets on this uh, Alabama. I think we're going to go for the kill on the Kerr first, and then try to ram the Yami. Actually, I lied. Yami looks like he's going to try to ram me. Yeah. Oh well, we'll take it. Yami's down. 185,000 damage first game in the, uh, the Montana. I don't know why that Yami decided he wanted to ram me there. But uh, either way. I didn't even see how hard we hit that Alabama. But considering he's now dead, I'm going to assume we chunked him pretty good. Oh, he's not dead. He's just very hurt. You're right, I didn't change the commander back to normal. We gotta do that too. Gotta do that too. That's why our range is so short. You're right. I was like, why is our range so short? I forgot. Good call. We'll do that when we get back. There we go. Now we're up to 341 likes. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you guys killing it oh i want to try something so i was watching a uh, video by spiffing brit yesterday it's a stream that he did and he said that if people do this on a live stream that it actually like breaks youtube's algorithm or something so i want you guys to try this with me uh so what i want you guys to do is to just like the stream leave for like one second and then re rehop back into the stream Apparently it tricks the algorithm into uh, thinking that there was more people uh, watching more of the video than there is And it, it could potentially get my video pushed even harder. So if you guys could do that I would love to test that out uh, Like I said, all you have to do is like the stream back out for like a second and then come back in. We'll wait for you If you guys can do that, I would much appreciate it so in three two one snap Let's see if everybody drops out real quick and comes back. Second on the team, Yami getting almost 3k base. Well done to the Yami. Love to see it. And hopefully everybody's back. So welcome back. Let's uh, go ahead and fix our commander here. Let's put our reaching out XXL back on. All right. That gives us our range back so that we can slap people. And done. Love it. Appreciate you guys. You guys are fantastic. I knew you guys would do this for me. Like I said, it's 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 a long shot. I have no idea. But if, uh, if you guys don't know who Spiffing Brit is, Spiffing Brit is a huge channel. And uh, he does things like he looks for exploits on YouTube. He looks for exploits in video games. He's hilarious. Like, I love watching his content. And when I saw that in his video last night, his, his live stream that he did, that uh, I, had to, I had to try it. So I was like, yeah, we're going to stream this. I'm going to do this. So let's, let's see if we can make it happen. You never know. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Look at all the people saying done. Much appreciated, you guys. You guys are fantastic. Love you guys. Again, I don't know if it's going to do anything at all. But if it does, we should know because my, my live stream should get 
pushed even harder. So I do appreciate you guys. It's so that YouTube could f show us cheapskates another ad. No, it's not that. It's something to do with the the way the algorithm pushes videos and specifically like uh, live streams. So like if people leave and come back, it basically means that you have watched like the first 30 seconds of the video or whatever twice. So it, it counts basically as a double view. So you can end up with like a... Uh, uh, an impression rate of like 150% or more, which shouldn't shouldn't be possible, but it also allows the YouTube algorithm to push it. Uh-oh. Soul Rift must know me. He's shooting at me already. What are we up against? We got a Lo Yang, got a couple of Minos, we got Alaska, Alabama, no Yami, just a Kerfurst and a Conk. I'll take that. I'll take that. This could be a fun one. <laughs> yeah, I love I love spiffing Brit, man. That guy's funny as hell. And I love his his exploits and stuff that he does. I've been watching him for a long time. Enemy force detected. Okay, Iowa. Bow in. I'm going to say most of their cruisers spawn mid. The Iowa is the only thing spotted so far. So they probably had cruisers spawning mid. Oof. Somebody touched the Iowa. Somebody touched him. I like the fact that I've been able to get this far without being detected yet. This is going to catch somebody off guard. Don't have a shot at the Iowa, unfortunately. Didn't think I would, but... He's going to push in. I hope that this isn't a Mino. Okay, it's Alaska. There's an Alabama. Not worried about either of those. But I'm hoping that I can catch this freaking... I, I, well, the Alaska's... Alaska's going to get himself into trouble, and he's going to cause the Iowa to bow tank us. Destroyer spotted at our spawn on the other side. Just blap that Iowa. This Alaska is begging to get blown up here. Let's see if he lives. If he does. Get rid of him. Still spotted. Could be by those guys over there, I guess. It looks like it is. Our Alaska's getting beat up. Get back. Yeah, this Alaska's toast. We can catch this Mino, though. How? How does that not absolutely rip that guy apart? Looks like he's dead anyway. Get him, secondaries. There's a close quarter kill. Actually, I lied. It isn't a close quarter kill. Get rid of that guy. 
Go through the bow side plating. Didn't quite get what I wanted out of that. I do have to turn here because of the freaking torpedoes that I'm expecting from... There's the torps. He could have he could absolutely hurt me here. The ship is on fire. But I was worried that he was trying to ram me, so I had to fake him out. Now we're gonna angle past him. Because we're expecting rear guns. Bounce five rounds. He got angled enough. Attention. Reporting a target's position. Problem solved, sir. Damn it. The ship is on fire. Fodder airborne. Looks good. Got the double. Fodder returning to ship. Enemy cruiser detected. Crack it! Enemy battleship foundered. Put out that double fire. Come on, baby! We do have a destroyer out here somewhere. Problem solved, sir. But the torps are coming from that side. No! Rip! Not like this! We're flooding quickly. My heart, it breaks! All because I turned back out. GG's. Our team's gonna, like, lose this battle because they're just not doing anything. Uh, we we did our best, guys. We did our best. A Kraken, we get 120,000 damage. We did 185 in the last one. The team's gonna lose this because we didn't capture any of the bases. These guys ran from their side of the map and let the enemy do whatever they wanted. That low Yang, all he has to do is run away. Dude, if I had just stayed going, like if I hadn't turned. I turned anticipating torpedoes and I turned right into the torpedo. So either that guy's the dumbest person on the planet or the, like, he's the best torper I've ever seen. Just overthinking things. Oh, there's a big hit by the Yami. You guys need to grab the base.
Guys, somebody needs to go grab a base. One of you cruisers. Go grab the base. Hello. Hi. I appreciate that, man. I saw you shoot at me at the beginning. I was like, ah, oh, this guy knows me. Oh, nice. Can't believe that Lo Yang came back in. Yes, that's huge. That's huge. They pulled it out. That Lo Yang just threw so hard. He had no reason to come back in. All he had to do was stay away. He wins that match. Wow. But there you go. We actually snatch victory from the jaws of defeat because of that guy's got to win harder. Am I right? 120,000 damage. Kraken, double strike, first blood, all the things. 2,100 base. Mino coming in with a 3,000 base. Yami coming in with a 2,000 base. GG's. Uh, shout out to my my dude, Soul Rift in the Alaska. Glad the little guy likes to watch. I know he probably doesn't like me calling him a little guy. He's a young fella. So uh, thank you. Glad you enjoy my dude. All right. And I think that's going to do it for the stream, guys. We're going to go ahead and do the, the crate opening now. Might as well. Let's see what we get out of our crates, shall we? Yeah, that Lo Yang, I don't know what he was thinking. He had that game won. All he had to do was run away. But uh, either way, first container. Come on, baby. Are we going to get the tier six ship? Anybody think we're going to get the tier six ship? Come on. Come on. So far, nothing. Still nothing. Come on! Let's see the ship. Nope. Two more containers. Come on, baby. Oh, it is just not going to happen. We've got nothing but boost boosters this time. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. But, still ended up being a solid stream. As always, let's go in here and uh, check out our requests. Go ahead and accept those. And uh, we'll call it a day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really do appreciate everybody. Thank you guys so much for your generosity during the stream today as well. You guys are so awesome. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Uh, it was a really fun ranked. We, uh, we only lost a couple of times, so we had a pretty solid running again. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel.